Hi guys! Today I'm going to try out these watercolor brush pens from Design Journey from Stettler. I have tried a couple of things from Stettler in this Design Journey selection and some I really loved, some a little bit less. Today I'm gonna try these ones. And these are double-sided as you can see. On one side we have, let's see, a fine tip, really fine. Uh, tip here and on the other side it says brush pen so there is oh a really tiny brush I would say <laughs> this brush is small compared to other uh, brush pens which I tried till now but that does not me need to mean anything we really the important thing is that the color dissolves when you apply water so I hope we will have something like this there is no additional information on them so yeah, let's just try them out. So guys, I have to tell you, I am 100% positively surprised by these brush markers or brush pens. I love them. I really love them. I have decided to buy also the big set. The bigger set is the 36 set because just look at these vibrant colors and how nicely they dissolve. And they do not cost a lot. This smaller set was if I remember right, around 12 euros or something like that and the 36 set is under 20 euros which is just crazy and they work so well. So if light fastness is not important for you, I would go with these brush pens. If Of course, if you want to buy brush pens, I would definitely recommend the Stettler brush pens. They dissolve so nice and the colors are so vibrant it's just like i don't know for me amazing i i really love them um i will put a video now of a drawing i did only using these brush pens so you can also check that out how it works i i, I just yeah as i said i love them uh, i also have other brush pens brush markers 
I'm not sure if I have a swatch in this book. So in this block, let's see. No, it was in the other block. Um, but I do have Faber Castell Albrecht Durer. These ones are more vibrant. Uh, the Faber Castell are light fast, probably because of that they are not so vibrant. Maybe these ones over time will fade. They do not have a light fast ratings, um, but if I compare these ones to... So there is another brand which I also like, but they are more expensive. And those are those Faber Castell Gold Faber, new, the new ones that came out. But yeah, I mean, they are really similar, but just look at this, this orange color. This one is so strong comparing to the Faber Castell Gold Faber. And these two look pretty similar. This one as well is much stronger. The thing is that the gold fiber, unfortunately, are pretty expensive. So for the gold fiber, I think the 24 set or something like that is around 50 euros, which is really expensive. And here you will get a 36 set almost under 20 euros. I'm talking about German Amazon, so I cannot tell you for sure how much they cost in your country. Um, so, but either way, so these ones dissolve well. I love them but they are more expensive on the expensive side and f they are not light fast. And if you are already paying so much, I would go, you know, with Albrecht Durer watercolor markers. Um, but if you want a cheap version, the cheap brush markers, which work well, then definitely these ones. One thing to keep in mind, it can happen that they will not work well on all papers. I have seen that also with the Albrecht Durer watercolor markers, which are like supposed to be wow, amazing. There are papers where even those markers do not dissolve completely and you have stains on the paper. So just keep that in mind. It can always happen, but really, I mean, still, I would go with these ones and I'm saying that all every single time. I do love the Canson XL watercolor paper for the brush pens. I think they just work really nice on that paper because the paper does not take in so much of the color. That's why you can really move it uh, nicely. I said, ah, Stettler, I, I really love these ones. I'm so surprised that I did not uh, find Stettler stuff sooner so there are a lot of things from Stettler that I do love um, yeah guys so uh, enjoy the painting and see you next time bye